This video is going to demonstrate how to make histograms using R and how to modify and do some different things with the coloration. So we have our data set loaded already. Um, we're going to make a histogram using one of the variables. I've chosen fear of math. So what we're going to do is go down to the bottom here and just histogram and that's my variable name. Hit enter. And you can see there that it makes a very basic histogram. So if we wanted to change the color of that, we might type in something like this. Oops, sorry. Type in the variable name col equals and then whatever color you want it to be. So we'll just put pink and then it redoes our histogram and you can see that it's changed the color on the inside. I'm going to show you one that I have already made and put a label on. I'm just going to copy that from our syntax and paste it into R. So that brings it up and you can see it's got its label there at the top and um, limits and everything set and it's completely colored blue. Um, one of the different ways that I found that you could format it is by just having lines instead of complete blue coloration. So you can see there it's not completely filled in, it's just a little bit shaded there. Um, what I did was after um, the color that I chose, which is dark blue, I just told R that I wanted the density of the color to be at 10. I also told it that I wanted the angle of the lines to be at 45 degrees. So we can take this and modify it as many times as we want. So we can come in here and say I want the angle to be 30 degrees and I want the color density to be 50. And R will run it again. You can see that it makes a really cool looking um, colored graph without it being completely blocked in. So let's play with it one more time and see what it does. We want our angle to be um, 90 and our density at 25. You can see it'll do the lines straight up and down, however you want them to be. So um, that's just another way that you can make your graphs more interesting and add a little color at the same time.